when it comes to next gen, what else are you guys introducing with this version of the game? Well, we're introducing a re, um, you know, our, our most popular feature in the past three years has been my careers. It's the area that most people spend all their time in. Um, but it's it's generally been a, you know, hey, I'm trying to become a superstar in, in the NBA. I play a game. There's some goals in that game that my that my coach has given me. I go out there, I achieve those goals, and I come back out, I upgrade my guy, and I go back in and do the same thing. And this year, instead, we're taking it more from a, a story mode, so that you actually have all these different scenarios, both on the court and off the court. You have a rival, you have an agent that you're dealing with, your coaches, uh, the GM, all those things come together to kind of give you a taste of what it really means to be an NBA player, not just on the court, but also his world outside of it. And it's all done in, you know, in a cinematic fashion with you know cutscenes and 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 uh, different decision points and things like that so it's a, a new take for us you know and hopefully one that everybody will enjoy as much as we uh, enjoyed making it can you give us a idea of level of detail that people will be seeing in the, the ps4 version of, of these nba players uh, well i mean you know the big thing for us was to really nail um, the way everything looks uh, you know, both from the faces. I mean, we went out and we scanned, we 3D scanned uh, over 80% of the league. Uh, not only for their shape of their face, but also their expression. So, you know, you'll see if LeBron smirks, that's LeBron's true smirk in the game. You know, the same goes for, you know, Harden or, you know, any of the players that, that we went out and got. Uh, so it allows us to really bring out the emotion in them. You know, the, the, the amount of detail in, in the animations is just taken a huge uh, leap. And we have this new technology called animation synthesis where, you know, you watch, you know, we, we did a presentation where we're showing, you know, six different jump shots from Kevin Durant. But because they were in six different situations, they were all slightly different. So you never see the same animation be played in the same exact way anymore. Um, so we're able to do that type of stuff. You know, but it goes down to, if you look on the, uh, on the scores table, you know, there's items there, and every one of those items sits in the world and looks exactly like it would look to me and you. I mean, to the point where it feels tangible to us. You know, we, we went out and tried to figure out, we figured out um, on the scoreboards, you know, how many lights are inside those, uh, the, 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 uh, the jumbotrons. And we were actually shooting out the same, um, the same temperature um, that those lights would come out with the same number of sources behind it which is crazy to go to that amount of detail. But next gen is something that, you know, I think that, that people kind of expect that. And, you know, we've put out trailers where people have said, oh, well, you know, why are they showing us cutscenes? And we're not, we're actually showing in-game a replay because the game looks that good. So we're, we're just really proud of how far we've come with this. As a sports video game developer, what's it like to have competition again in the NBA? You know, it's, um, I mean, you know, sports are all about competition. So. You know, it's it's uh, it's daunting. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, well, what are they doing? What are we doing? You know, but it just kind of keeps you. It tries to keep keep you on your your um, your piece of cues and and you know, stay at the top of your game. I mean, and obviously, it also gives us some inspiration because you know they may do something that we find interesting, and you know, and then it's like, okay, well, how do we one up that? And that's what happens on the court, right? You know, somebody goes out on the court, does a great move, and the next time down court, you better have something for him. And that's what we you know we aim to do now.